Hey, it's the Odd Man. This project was to design and build a long duration solar rechargeable battery and electrical system for the boat. So here are all the things I think I'm going to need for this project. Got the liquid electrical tape and all the electrical connector stuff. I bought an MPPT solar charge controller and the 10 ampere hour LIPO4 battery. I bought USB ports. I bought a voltmeter. Then I bought a regular old school cigarette lighter 12 volt charge port. Then of course there's the actual solar panel, Lensun. It was one of the higher rated efficiency ones, like 22.5% or something. So new generation type. Of course, every item has a different connector on it. So the plan with this is to suspend the battery from the bottom of the panel. But the panel is going to be too flexy, so I'd like to put just a slight bow in it. It's fairly flexy front to back, but not so much side to side. I'm thinking that a half an inch of bow is going to be plenty across that 20 inches or so. So I put some pre-bow in it and I'm going to use the, see it fits pretty closely there and there. CA glue is holding that stuff into place now. Now it's time for the epoxy. Well, as you can see, my fillets are never all that neat and tidy. I made these little sticks. They're about a quarter inch square. I'm going to mount them on the edge of the electrical system. And they will sit down in these slots in the gunnel. And then I will just use a bungee cord to hold it down. This is the Moss Medium Viscosity. You can see I've been marking the little cup, the 5 and 15 and the 10 and 30 milliliter, so that I get the 2 to 1 mix on the epoxy correct. Pretty well ready to go. Dry fitting for the voltmeter and the power points that are going to be on it. Test fitting the product as it's closer to final. So the woodworking is done. It's not really quite like a piece of fine furniture, but I think it'll work. And now it's time to start putting the electrical system actually together. So the solar panel's on there and the cable is clearly way too long. Okay, it says this mode should only be used with 12 volt lithium batteries that have a built in battery management system. The battery says built in automatic protection for overcharge, over discharge, over current, and over temperature. So I'm going to I'm going to call that a win. So I think that's what they're talking about. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. And then I'm going to set the mode to 12 volt lithium. And see what it says for battery voltage. So red. To red. Ground. 
the ground. All right, mode. Oh yeah, there we go. There we have power. Set the mode to twelve volt lithium. So I bought this battery for the boat. It's 10 amp hours. And I was looking at this little portable one I have for a phone, and it says 10,400 milliamps, which, which makes it 10.4 amp hours, which is bigger than this? Well, that didn't make sense. So I looked it up on this website. There was a calculator and it said, that a better measure is watt hours. We all know that amps, watts, and volts are related. Turns out that watt hours is volts times amp hours. So this one is actually 128 watt hours or about two and a half times the size of this one in terms of actual electrical capacity. And thank goodness, I thought I'd spent 75 bucks for something I could have gotten much more cheaply. Also found a calculator that talked about how long it takes to charge the batteries and so forth. This is a 30 watt solar panel. And according to the charge calculator at this website, it should take about three hours to charge it fully in full sun. But figuring the clouds in the Pacific Northwest and all that sort of stuff, you know, probably going to take longer. But I figured at this size, I shouldn't have any trouble getting that battery charged fully in a day. Similarly, I had to make a decision about this MPPT charger, about whether it made sense to buy it or buy a really cheap PWM charger. According to the calculator I found online, the difference is 2.6 hours versus 3.2 hours. The MPPT is much faster. I was willing to pay a few more bucks to minimize the amount of time it would take to charge the battery. This is the odd man, out.